because you only have like five minutes left. All right, so we talked about the measure of an angle, right? The measure of the angle is going to be the distance between the two rings, okay? Now, there's four different measures that are very, very common that we're going to have for angles. Does anybody remember one type of angle? Yes? Acute. Acute angle, right? Acute? Obtuse. Obtuse angle. There's right. two more. Right. right. A right angle, and there's one last one. Straight. A straight angle. Very good. You guys remember all this stuff. So we're going to talk about that, but we do need to know these very, 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 very well. So please make sure you write them down, and especially what I'm going to write down next. So um, a right angle is going to be one that can be formed by looking at perpendicular lines. And a lot of times, the right angle is, is um, best described by having this box. And that means it's going to be a true right angle. If you look at two lines and they look like they're a right make a right angle, do not assume that unless you either see a box like this or we're able to prove it, which we'll be able to do later this year. All right? So this is what we're going to call a right angle. So that's a right angle. And let's call all these angles A, just to keep things sim simple. Okay? So the measure of angle A, that's what I say when I say that out loud, that says measure of angle A equals for a right angle, somebody remember what it was? 90 exactly, 90 degrees. And here is what we call our acute. And the acute, you can obviously see is smaller than a right angle, right? It's obviously smaller. Can it be less than zero though? No. No, the size of the angle, the measurement of the angle can't be less than zero. But we will talk about direction being um, negative. So anyways, we'll have the measurement of the oh, sorry. So it has to be larger than zero degrees. So zero degrees has to be, or the measure angle has to be greater than zero degrees, but has to be less than 90 degrees. So what that says again, and make sure, yeah. Zero degrees has to be less than measure of angle A, which has to be less than 90 degrees. The next one, obtuse. Okay, obtuse, you can see is obviously larger than 90 degrees, right? But it can't be this, this big though, because then that would be large, then that would be a straight angle. So an obtuse angle has to be larger than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. Write these down, guys, because you need to make sure you can remember how to classify them, because we will do some problems. Yes? That means the measure of the angle A. When I say this out loud, M less than A, what it means, measure of angle A of angle A. Okay, So it's not another less than symbol. It's actually an angle symbol for my angle A. And the last one we have is a straight angle. And a straight angle is actually going to be two opposite rays, right? Two opposite rays create a straight angle. And a straight angle is the measure of my angle A is equal to 180 